Hello. As the year comes to a close, I want to take a few minutes to shine a light on your many accomplishments. 2013 was a big year for HII, and a successful one. When we announced our most recent quarterly earnings, I noted that it was the fourth quarter in a row that we saw improvement in our total operating margin. Now, these results are a credit to you and the hard work you do each and every day. So congratulations and thank you. In October, our board of directors doubled HII's quarterly cash dividend and stock repurchase program, further demonstrating our confidence in reaching our goal of 9% margins by 2015. We're proving to our shareholders that we can do what we said we would do. We're doing it in spite of the uncertainty caused by continuing resolutions, sequestration cuts, and a government shutdown. And we're doing it the right way, by living our company values and adhering to the highest ethical standards at all times. The year included many accomplishments of note. Newport News Shipbuilding delivered the submarine Minnesota 11 months early and Ingalls Shipbuilding delivered the amphibious transport dock Somerset. Somerset was the last Navy ship to be built at Avondale. Its delivery was a critical step in reaching our financial goals. We also re-delivered the aircraft carrier USS Theodore Roosevelt following its midlife refueling and overhaul. And we recently christened two ships, the National Security Cutter Hamilton and the first of a class aircraft carrier Gerald R. Ford. Now, while christenings and deliveries are certainly our most visible milestones, I'd like to note some other accomplishments that could have major implications for HII's future. In June, Ingalls won a $3.3 billion contract to build five Arley Burke class destroyers. This was a huge competitive win for HII and for Ingalls, which turned 75 this year. And also in June, the first ever nuclear powered aircraft carrier USS Enterprise returned to Newport News to begin its inactivation. Now this is a new line of business that could potentially keep the shipyard busy for decades as the Nimitz class carriers reach the end of their 50 year service lives. In the last two months we opened brand new state-of-the-art apprentice facilities in Mississippi and Virginia. The apprentice schools are a critical element of HII's workforce development strategy and our commitment to improving educational opportunities in the communities where we do business. Now here are just a few more of the many accomplishments from a very busy year. I'm also very proud of the work we do to help those less fortunate and in times of need. HII and its employees have a long history of supporting organizations like the United Way, the American Red Cross, local food banks, and a variety of educational programs in the communities where you live. 
This year, you also showed generous support for the Washington Navy Yard Survivors Fund, and most recently, the victims of Typhoon Haiyan. The compassion you displayed for the people of the Philippines and the mobilization of five HII-built ships in that relief effort truly demonstrates our global reach. And this doesn't even begin to account for the individual volunteer efforts of thousands of employees in 12 states, from New Hampshire all the way to Hawaii. Your work deserves thanks every day, and especially in this most reflective time of the year. So thanks again for all of your great work in 2013 and for everything you do to contribute to the success of HII and the communities you call home. I wish you and yours a safe and joyful holiday season and a happy new year.